Hey everyone, welcome to uh, the Clarny Advertiser. Today um, we have uh, Mayor Niall Kelleher in for a chat with us. Niall, thank you very much for calling in. Thanks, Kieran. Delighted to be with you. Just a few little things there, Niall. Um, yesterday you said that some Killarney buskers haven't a note in their head and they're making a complete nuisance of themselves. Yeah. Um, what has triggered this reaction from you? Well, look, it's an issue that I've noticed around the town with a while and look, we're very lucky in the fact that Killarney is a busy tourism town and we've people that are here in footfall mm -hmm. and obviously a lot of buskers find that it's lucrative to come into Killarney, do busking and raise, raise some money for themselves. Mm -hmm. And let's get it clear, I'm all in favour of busking, yeah, yeah. I'm in favour of quality busking, but around anything like that you need to have rules and you need to have regulations and guidelines. And that's what I'm trying to get us to implement mm -hmm. here in Killarney because there is none. There's absolutely no guidelines. You and I could go down the street this very minute and have a guitar and a tin whistle and we could try and raise money. And I'll tell you what. Clean up, Nile. We'd clean up. Well, I think there'd be someone cleaning us up, but I don't think that. You'd do good. I, I, cer I, certainly, I certainly wouldn't be doing it. I'd be cleared. Uh, some buskers don't use amplified equipment. What do you say about them? Yeah, absolutely brilliant. And that's the point. I think amplification of people's music is blowing it out mm. all over the place. And mm -hmm. look, we have a very um, small main street really um, when it goes, you know, from Quills mm -hmm. all the way up to um, the Grand Hotel. Mm -hmm. And, you know, on occasion, you could actually have up to six different buskers in that um, length uh, of street. Yeah. And that noise amplified means that you could be listening to different sounds and tunes right in the one spot mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and that's not right mm -hmm. it's not right for the buskers themselves and amazingly i have got a big reaction from buskers who've been emailing right. me and calling me and saying i'm glad something is happening about this because do you mm. know what it's not working in Clarny at the moment okay cliffs them over um, have a very good policy where they have for buskers in up there with clare county council Dublin City Council have it on all of Dublin, mm -hmm. Grafton Street, a very popular place. And in Grafton Street, if you have one performance, there can't be another performance for 100 metres down the road. Okay. So, um, you know, there's, and I'm not saying these are the right guidelines, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. we need to bring guidelines, so we mm -hmm. have to start the conversation and have the discussion. Um, was it yourself that made a suggestion of a 50 euro permit fee for Clarence? Well, I, I use that as an example okay. of what's in place in Dublin. They have a permit of 50 euros in Dublin mm -hmm. uh, per street performer, so anyone that's performing, and that covers street performances for an annual basis. Um, I'm not saying 50 euros should be the fee or oh, shouldn't okay. be the fee, um, but hopefully we'll be able to draft bylaws as a council to actually um, implement uh, and regulate it, mm -hmm. and they will be done up and drafted by the executive of the council, put out to public display, and everybody will have their chance and view um, in relation to those and we as elected members can look at them change them based on the submissions that are there and hopefully come up with a good set of guidelines that will help everybody okay. um, and actually make sure that we have quality entertainment mm. uh, in Killarney the amplification is an issue and we've got to be cognizant of ratepayers and businesses mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, yeah. if, you, if you have a situation wherein you have somebody who's very, very good. We all want to see them in Killarney, but there's a big circle of people around them, so people can't go into a shop. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's not fair. We have to have it balanced and fair. But again, I want to see buskers in the street of Killarney because it really adds to the atmosphere. Yeah, we have, yeah, yeah. But we want to regulate it. And do you think the idea of designated busking locations in the town or busker-free zones, maybe, what do you think of it? Well, look, that has to be decided. Uh, you know, there's prominent locations mm -hmm. with footfall. And it's important if you have buskers on the street that there's room for people to walk past them mm -hmm. and walk past the crowd and not have to walk out onto the, onto the road. Yeah. And look, we've seen pedestrianisation on Plunkett Street. There's a debate to be had as to whether that worked mm -hmm. uh, or whether it didn't work. And... You know the atmosphere and the buzz we've had around town as a result of it so mm -hmm. i think there is uh, merit to to that argument yeah. um as mayor of killarney um would you have a plan yourself of how to solve the issue well, have you any ideas that you know well look the the ideas has to be about bringing in bylaws because the mm -hmm. bylaws then can be enforced they can be enforced by the traffic wardens they can be enforced by the uh, local executive of the council and they can be enforced by the guarantee and that's what guidelines uh, are for and that's the best thing to do so hopefully we'll be able to have 
that done, put it out to public consultation so everybody has their chance to, to look at it and that it could come back and be in place for the season early next year. Brilliant. Um, Niall, thank you very much for coming in and chatting to us. Thanks, uh, let us know how you get on with it and we'll be, uh, we'll be keeping you all informed. We'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot.